Hi, my name is John. Welcome to another Sunday Night Nightcap. Last weekend I was away at the NEC uh, with Deb. Spent three days down there. Uh, I was invited down by Rob from Extreme Plasma. Had a great time, really enjoyed it. I'll put a little bit of footage on at the end of the video, one or two shots I did take down there. I've got some video to edit. I will be going to put a, a video up all about the NEC a little bit later on. There was quite a few people come up and introduced ourselves to us and some people actually wanted that photographs to with us. It was uh, it was nice to meet you and I really do hope you had a good show. I did meet up with one person. I met Ant from Wheeler Dealers. Uh, he showed great interest in Rob's plasma table so that could be something for the future. Anyway, tonight's nightcap. It's nearly all milling machine work. I modify a set of pistons uh, for a a Volvo is going to have a 16 valve head put on and I have put an uh, eyebrow cut out so valve pockets in so the valves don't hit the pistons. I show quite a lot of that. The Patreon channel is going well. There's a link in the description box if you want to have a look on there. If you want to come and support me, please feel free to do so. Next weekend will be the first Sunday of the month so it's going to be the another monthly draw. I've got some really nice prizes for this month's draw. If you haven't entered that, all you need to do is send me an email that's my email address up there, and all I need is your name, like your full name, like John Mills, not just John. Your name goes into the bucket. If your name's drawn out, I'll post the prize off anywhere in the world, completely free of charge. This is a piston out of a 16 valve Volvo engine. I think it's a 2 litre engine. The bits on top of the piston are valve cutouts or valve pockets or eyebrows, some people call them. You can see what they could be called eyebrows. The purpose of those is to clear the valves. As the valves come in at an angle, as the valves open and the piston comes to the top, you need that clearance. That's how tight things run in modern day engines. The big cutouts are for the inlets and the small ones are for the exhausts. What I've got to do is modify some pistons to have the same cutouts in. I can't have all the cutouts big, which is good. It saves a little bit of machining. I have got four to do. But there could be a lot more to do, so I want to make a jig to make setup fairly simple. I've got some dimensions, I know what centres these are, I know how deep they're meant to be, and I know what angle they are. So I've got to design something, or fabricate something to hold these. The first thing I want to do is machine a piece of steel to be a really good fit in the gudgeon pinhole. Then I want to clamp it down. Fortunately the bottom of the piston is flat, so it will lie nice and flat. I have got this cheap and cherry tilting table which I should be able to utilise to get the angle. I was going to machine a block of aluminium, that one in fact, to be the right angle, put it in there and machine it and then clamp onto that and put it in the vise. But I might just use this, I'm not quite sure yet. Possibly that could be the best way to do it. Machine a piece of aluminium at the right angle, which happens to be 19 degrees across there. Then I can put that in the vase. Um, first thing is to get a bit of bar turned to be a really good fit in the gudgeon pinhole. Right, I've got a bit of suitable bar here. I've got no idea what it is. It's a sort of bar that comes out of a, a scrap bin. But I'm sure it'll be perfectly acceptable for what I need it to do. We'll centre well it and then turn it down to size. Yeah.
front of the next one, throw one straight and it seems to be decent material. You need to get an accurate size for the, the Gudrun pin. Right, it measures it 23mm and this is 25mm bar. We basically want 2mm off that. Right, I'm just going to touch this off with the bow there. I'm going to dial in a 1mm cut and see if we can get it in one go. That will do it with two cuts, so there's half. I should take one mil off. It's dead on 24 mil now, so we'll take another half mil cut and that should bring it dead on size. Now we'll speed things up a little bit. Right, that's a fanny's hair under 23 mil, which should do the job quite nicely. Right, the same size of both ends, which is always a good start. It's not bad, that will certainly do for John. Oh. So we're a nice sliding fit in the gudgeon pin hole and that can be used to hold the pin down, there'll be two studs and a down throw there, one each side. So that's the first little part of the plan successfully sorted. Tables wouldn't quite fit in that angle plate. Take a little bit off the, the bottom and the wheel fit. We made up a decent material. quite nicely. Indeed it does. So I'm going to mount this onto the machine bed and then put one of my new vices onto there, set the angle and then machine that block. Then we can use that as part of the fixture or, or jig. 
And it will use this square just to get the angle plate somewhere near. Not rocket science, but it sometimes the simplest ideas are the ones that people never sort of never use for some strange reason. Right, and the, the vase should go on there. It's obviously been used on a, a much bigger machine. The Navy machine out for much bigger tea nuts than these ones. Got tea bolts or other. Make a good lot of difference for what I'm going to be doing with it. There were some better washers than that, possibly bigger washers. Yeah, I'll need some bigger washers on there. I think that's a lot better. May have to shorten these as well, it might actually hit the um, hit the face doors actually as a vase, it's something I'll have to work out. I'll make a set of T bolts just for this vase. Well, there's two sets because I've got two vases now. So. Right, I need to make sure that, that face is running reasonably true. So that's not too bad. You saw exactly how I did that. Right, I'm locking off at that. Next thing to do is set the angle, then we can check that again, of course. And I'm sure the angle was 19 degrees. But I'll check my drone again. Right, so we need to measure that angle. If this has got graduations on, I've set it at 19, but I wouldn't really trust the graduations on there. But I do trust this. Right, I hope you can see there, I'll try and get this to focus on that vernier. And that basically is at 19 degrees. Right. That's the way I've done it. And when you you like the piston on there and that bit there, I'll we'll put a straight edge on it. It certainly appears to be lying nice and straight, so I'm gonna Machine that, fly cut that, down to that angle, and then we've got the bottom part of our jig which is sort of taking shape quite nicely. Right, we've got a cheap and cherry bang good face mill in there. So I'm sure it'll do the job for us quite nicely.
see who it's cutting, yeah, it's pushing into the fixture of the base. 